Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to discuss more about organic shapes and how we can achieve them using this particular extension curvy loft. So without wasting any other time, let's get started. So here we have logged in with a SketchUp interface and the very first thing is you have to download this curvy loft extension the link will be attached in the description below uh, in this extension we have three icons in which one is loft by spline second one is loft along path and third is skin contours so in this video we will mostly talk about loft by spline and and loft along path and we'll also discuss a bit about skin contours so how this extension work is you can either make a particular shape let's just start with a circular shape and i'll just try to make different copies of this as i'll go to this and even i can add this particular thing now you can see all of these uh, copies are attached vertically now what i can do is i can uh, select this one and decrease the size of this circle so that you know we get uh, an increased size then a decrease size and then increase size so what how this uh, software helps us to make surfaces basically you need to select all the elements and then simply go to the curvy loft extension and click on loft by spline it will automatically combine all the shapes and it will give you a solid surface you can also change a lot of things for suppose you can also change the spline method now carefully see when i click on these buttons it will change the shape of my object so we have different kind of shapes which can be achieved using spline methods Again, we can, in, uh, so I'll just go to this, yeah. And we can also change the number of segments. The more the number of segments will be, the more the smoother the surface will be, right? Simplify doesn't put a much of effect in this particular object. And uh, the center pole is something which add the vertical lines, which mostly work on a uh, square objects, or you can say a regular object, not on, like, not on the circular kind of thing. Now, uh, you can also double click on any surface and you get this particular dialog box i'll just drag it very right side yeah so you can change the direction of the particular object for suppose we have this blue axis the blue ring over here and the red ring, red ring over here we have these two icons the blue icon with 15 degree and the right icon with 90 degree when i click on this uh, blue icon when i click on this it try to rotate the object at single 15 degree one one more click now the object is being rotated in 30 degree and if i can change the red direction which means it will also rotate the object from the bottom side so i'll click on zero it will rotate the object again it will zero okay for right right now the geometry is not looking good so we'll click on uh, it again then it will have a proper geometry this 90 degree angle uh, works when we click on double times so this is the basic thing see when i go back this is giving a distorted image and when we are coming uh, coming going forward it is giving me a clean image so when, once you are satisfied with your result you can simply click on this uh, outside icon and you can easily achieve this particular object not only this you can also model very various things for suppose i'll just make another copy and let's just change the number of segments to three which would be triangular so I'll just select all of this and again clicked on loft by spline. So it will attach the surface. As you can see, we have attached segments as over. So uh, basically I can increase the number of segments over here. We have also this geometric patterns over here. In this, you can click on any geometrical pattern and you can directly get lines if you don't need any surfaces. So as you can see, I can get only horizontal lines, only vertical lines, only diagonal lines along the diagonal lines. So these are all the variations which can be made. So once I click on this diagonal and the horizontal, when I'm satisfied, I can simply click on the outside of the surface and I'm very good with this result. So you can create a mesh kind of structure. Let's just skip to another example. Let's take a square, make another copy, click or uh, select all the surface and click on curvy loft. Click on this and you can easily you know change the directions once you're done click on ok so this was something about curvy loft loft by spline and when we move further we have curvy loft loft along path so how we can you know use this particular extension so for this we'll make a circular surface and have another copy of this 
and we make another copy of this and simply rotate this uh, this one i'll just rotate it in this way okay and scale it down a bit okay now what we are doing we are attaching each and every surface with a single line and where we have the center pole we can select the circle and place it over here once we are done with the structure the basic structure we can select each and every object along with the path so basically these are the objects these three circles and this particular arc is a pathway so when we click on this loft along path what it will do is it will select the starting object then the middle object and then end object so it will make a surface using all of these circles once you are satisfied with your object you can simply click outside and there you have the object we can again change the number of values we can coming back again making an arc as we have come a long way back selecting this while before selecting we can decrease the size more bit so that you, you can get a better understanding for this again select the whole project object and simply go to loft along path so as you can see you get this very nice arc kind of thing and once you are satisfied you can simply click outside and there you go so this was something which uh, which you can uh, do with the loft along path one more creative way to use this particular extension the loft by spline is when you need to make a particular shed or something you very you know you have to struggle a lot so what what you can do is you can e easily make a profile okay i'll just make it again you easily make a profile line and once you are satisfied with your profile i'll just use this extension extension weld to weld all the lines which were different once i have this particular line we can rotate it rotate it as per our design so i need this particular line to be stand out like this and move the object like this yeah so what you can do is you can make multiple copies of this object just a second so what you can do is you can make multiple copies of this particular object for suppose i'll go with six copies and you can do various changes in between just to give different kind of profile look as i'm doing so once you once you are satisfied with the profile lines you just need to select all of these and simply click to curve loft once you click on this it will select the lines and it will automatically make surfaces using them once you're satisfied you see you can always increase the number of segments to make it look more smoother the more smoother it will be the more heavy the file will be once you have uh, once you're satisfied and then you can simply click outside and you're good to go this was something you can easily create this kind of structures let's just talk about the last extension which is skin contours so how you can use this particular extension is basically you can create surfaces using your lines so how you can do that so we'll start with making a rectangular surface let's just make a rectangle and we'll add a, a, a particular arc over here okay now i don't need this surface we'll just delete the surfaces we'll decrease and we'll delete the line and i can do one thing i can you know make a copy of this and add it over here erase this and also erase these lines also just create lines over here a small arc for this and create a copy for the same so once you're done with all this select all of these and simply click on skin contours as you can see now what ha what it has basically done is it has selected all the lines and it has tried to create a skin for that so this can only be achieved using this curvy loft extension so once you are satisfied see you can increase the number of thing you need the geometrical lines you can only keep the geometrical mesh kind of thing and when you're satisfied you can simply click on okay that's all for today please let us know if you enjoyed the video leave a comment if you learned something new and subscribe if you're new to the channel